All right, we're gonna diagnose this uh, Velvet Drive 5000 transmission out of a big carver, I believe, to 2.8 to one. I can tell it's already been worked on before because the gasket's on black. But the complaint from the marina is, is after he gets underway and he goes a few miles, the alarm goes off. I think he's gotta run eight, nine, 10 miles. I could be wrong with that, but the alarm goes off. And they, they scan the, or they zap the transmission with a heat gun and it's over, you know, 200 degrees. So this little temp sender alarm here is going off. So what I wanna do is I wanna see if they're right in their diagnosis, okay? I'm not doubting them, but we just wanna check things. So before I take it apart, I'm gonna run this. And I've got a cooler flow meter here. So what I think the problem might be is we don't have enough cooler flow. Now these guys have done their due diligence and they have verified that the, um, the seawater system works great. So they've, they've changed the cooler and impellers and that sort of thing. So what I wanna do is fire this thing up right now in neutral, okay? And I'm at idle speed, and you can see I have about a gallon per minute flow. Those numbers represent gallons from at the top as liters if you're the liter guy. So let's put this in gear. Let's try one direction. So that is right hand rotation. I lost a little bit. Let me speed it up. Speed it up more than I know here. Switch directions here. So now I'm left hand rotation. I'm gonna rev it up here. See, I've got no cooler flow in left hand rotation. Nothing. So that tells me, I just popped it in neutral there. See, I've got cooler flow in neutral and not in gear. That tells me I have a leak in one of the clutches, okay? Uh, specifically, it's gonna be the uh, input shaft clutch, I believe. Because I have, I have cooler flow one direction, not the other. That tells me I've got a huge leak. That kind of eliminates the pump because cooler flow is a version of the regulator. So the regulator's right in here. When the regulator blows off, okay, this thing should be about 300 PSI. 275 to 325 I believe is the spec and when that when the pump and there's insufficient resistance in the clutch packs that's going to blow that regular off and create cooler flow well when I'm in left hand rotation so my guess is this is the port side transmission of this boat I'm going to call them and find out here in a second uh, and you see how there's no cooler flow that's why that thing will overheat well that means that pump is putting out everything it can but there's no uh, there's no there's not enough restriction to create cooler flow and that's why it's cooking all right we got our 5000 apart that had low pressure i misspoke i meant to say lay clutch before not the input clutch this is the input clutch input shaft assembly this is the lay clutch the lay clutch is left hand rotation well and i already found the problem so you got these two ceiling rings here see i'm using my thumb to push it up and that's just barely flush see the wear on there they should come up like this See how it comes up above flush? I can't, my finger gets caught. See how that's wore down? And look at the grooves in the case. There are grooves in there. See those grooves? Maybe. One there and one toward the outside. So this case is trash. Or I'm gonna have to change that insert, steal it out of another case. But that's our leak, and right there, that's gonna be our overheat because I got excessive fluid. This little hole here is my feed hole. So if I got high pressure bleeding past, see, then my regulator is gonna be slammed shut in my pump, and it's not gonna freaking flow any cooler. So that is the problem. All right, let's check our transmission here. Let's see if we got some flow. It's left hand rotation. 
go fixed up diagnosis using a cooler flow gauge so press that new unit into the lay shaft resealed it clutches were perfect and she'll be fine no more overheat and no more alarm